Now we have entered the module two of business creation and growth. And the module two looks at uh, theories of growth. Unit one of module two uh, looks at the concepts and reasons of growth. Why? How? How does a business grow? And what makes a business grow? Business growth means expanding the firm's products or services. It has to do with expanding its target market. Basically, a business has its own target market. Sometimes people are making clothing, clothing materials. They are making for children. At one point, they see that the, the space is shrinking and they, they, they is no more profitable. They now try to include women's clothes, men's uh, clothing. That's uh, product expansion. It can be, uh, it can even expand in the, 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 the target market itself or even the production target. Any increase in the volume of activities of enterprises is a clear indication of, uh, of growth. It can be the volume of sales, it can be the, the profitability can still be an indication of growth. Everything that moves from status quo on the positive side is growth. In Nigeria, people ascribe business uh, success or failure to all kinds of things. Even some ascribe it to faith. Some ascribe it to chance or even witchcraft. If the business is not doing well, it's not growing, they say it's somebody that tied them down. I hear such, a, 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 such a, a funny remarks about tying down, about the witchcraft. The success and failure of a business is within the hands of uh, the entrepreneur. There are environmental conditions that do not permit a business to grow in certain environments. There are also uh, family background issues. So people from uh, a family of, uh, uh, that has a business tradition, they, they fail to do well. I think they they, they have a better background. They must have heard or seen a lot of success and failures. And they are more stable. They are easier stable than the people without any background at all. The entrepreneur's positive attitude towards success and failure can even uh, you know, uh, help in the growth of the business. If you have positive attitude, and you know that things that are not entirely within your control, there may be progress, there may be a standstill, and there may be areas of a drawback or even a few obstacles. But if an entrepreneur has a positive attitude towards what he's doing, he can always accept the outcome. Then there will be discipline. When people, especially people that are doing the sole proprietorship, they, they, they don't have that discipline that is, uh, you know, needed. Even their business finances, they, try, they, they, they often mix it up with their personal funds. And when the business begins to fall, they won't even easily recall what they have done wrong. That is always good to differentiate uh, between your business and uh, your person. In conclusion, therefore, we're saying that business growth, it grows for a number of reasons, including taking advantage of a gap that exists in the, in the market, gaining competitive advantage over rivals. Your rivals, there are certain things they may not have seen. And when you see it, you take advantage of them. Then additionally, entrepreneurial skills. If you don't have a skill, and go into business that requires skill. You need extra skill. You have to still depend on somebody for the success of your business. If you go to a business that uh, needs uh, uh, requires software, and you're not a computer person, 
your success, your movement, your growth still depend on the skills you are uh, employing, the skills you're inviting. So it's always good to learn those additional skills, the competencies. Sometimes you see a lay person that has nothing, no idea about uh, uh, medicine. Because he has a lot of money, he opens a hospital and uh, gets a doctor to get drive, uh, the doctor's license, a medical doctor's license to uh, open a hospital. Just know that your success and failure still lies in the hands of the doctor. So it's always good to, to do the business that is related to your area of competence. Resilience and experience, they are very critical factors in managing and the growing business. They are factors determining the transition of an enterprise from start up to the growth. So until I see you again, let me stop here for now. Bye.